Why doesn't the Bible mention dinosaurs? Well, I can tell you when dinosaurs were created. They were created on day six, because dinosaurs were land animals. Land animals were created on day six, so dinosaurs were created on day six. But why doesn't it mention dinosaurs? Very, it's very easy to understand why. The King James Version was translated in 1611, and we still use a lot of the words in all other versions even today. They're very much influenced by the King James Version. But the word dinosaur wasn't invented till 1841. It's interesting that that word was invented because people had started to find large fossils of extinct creatures. And the reason why the word dinosaur was invented was in order to have a word to describe these large extinct reptilian type creatures. So when people start to worry about how did the dinosaurs die out, I think they're really worrying about something that doesn't exist because the word dinosaur was invented to describe things that had clearly died out. But it wasn't invented till 1841, that's 230 years after the translation of the King James Version. Now, the point is that there are other words that are actually newer. Than the word, the older rather than the word dinosaur. For example, if you look at a, a copy of Webster's Dictionary from 1828, you'll f you'll be able to find the word computer, locomotive, and rocket in that dictionary. Of course, a computer wasn't was the sort of thing that I'm doing this presentation on. A computer was simply a counting instrument of some sort. An abacus would be a computer, something that you compute with, or even someone who computes. But the word existed, but the word dinosaur didn't because it wasn't invented until 1841. So it's no, no wonder that it's not there in the Bible. That, of course, is the reason why the word email isn't in the Bible. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Paul's second letter, Paul's second email to the Corinthians. See what large fonts I use. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen. The word email is not there because it's two newer words. Similar to the word dinosaur is two newer words. But is there any word that ought to have been translated as dinosaur? Well, I would say there is. The Hebrew word tannin is translated in the Old Testament in the King James Version by the word dragon. Dragon. Now, isn't that interesting? We can go further. The Hebrew word seraph is usually translated in most places in the Old Testament as fiery flying serpent. Fiery flying serpent. There are legends about dragons and about fiery flying serpents from outside the Bible. I think that those legends are people having seen dinosaurs.